Prince Harry in shock as he gets stripped of Duke royal title by King Charles after controversial move. The drama between Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, and his father, King Charles III, has grabbed global attention. It has filled headlines and sparked debates about the British monarchy's future. Now, Prince Harry has lost his Duke of Sussex title and royal perks due to his actions after leaving the UK. This move has left many stunned, wondering if it's the end of Prince Harry's royal journey. In this detailed article, we explore the events leading to this moment. We look at the impact on the monarchy, the historical significance, and what's next for Prince Harry and his family. <clears throat> A royal exit that changed everything. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's move to the United States in early 2020 shook the British monarchy. Dubbed Megxit, it sent shockwaves through Buckingham Palace and beyond. They wanted to step back from royal duties for financial freedom and privacy. Moving to the United States, they hoped to escape media scrutiny that harmed their mental health. Their decision raised a key question. Can a royal give up royal duties and still keep their title and benefits? An initial arrangement allowed Harry and Meghan to use their titles but not perform royal duties. They would no longer receive public funds and vowed to uphold the monarchy's values from abroad. But the real effects of this compromise soon became clear. The shift from royal duties to public figures. After settling in California, Harry and Meghan became global figures. They signed deals with Netflix and Spotify and started Archule. They spoke openly about mental health, racial justice, and their royal experiences. But their freedom came with a cost. Their interviews, like the Oprah Winfrey one in 2021, showed a dysfunctional royal family. Meghan talked about feeling isolated, and Harry about feeling trapped. This damaged the royal family's image. The public and media had mixed reactions. Some supported the couple, seeing unfair treatment. Others criticized them for hypocrisy, still enjoying royal benefits. The royal family, including King Charles, found itself in a tough spot. <clears throat> King Charles' dilemma, a father torn between duty and family. King Charles faced a tough situation as Prince Harry's father. He wanted to support his son but also had to consider the monarchy's needs. This balance between family love and royal duty was tested in unexpected ways. Since becoming king, Charles aimed for stability and unity in the royal family. He hoped Harry and Meghan would return, but their criticisms made this hard. The situation reached a breaking point. King Charles gave Harry an ultimatum, fulfill royal duties or lose your title. Harry refused to compromise, leading to a shocking decision by King Charles. This move was seen as necessary to protect the monarchy's integrity. The decision to strip the Duke title, a historic move. King Charles made a big move by taking away Prince Harry's Duke of Sussex title. This is a rare event in royal history. It shows that being a royal comes with big responsibilities. Royal titles have always meant a lot. They show the prestige and power of the monarchy. By taking away Harry's title, King Charles sent a strong message. This change also has big legal and financial effects. Harry won't get some royal benefits anymore. This includes security and financial help. It's a bold move that raises many questions. Historical precedents. Have royals been stripped of titles before? Yes, there have been times when royals lost their titles. King Edward VIII is a famous example. He gave up the throne to marry an American woman, Wallace Simpson. Prince Harry's situation is similar. Both men wanted to leave royal duties behind. But Harry's loss of title is significant now, as the monarchy tries to change. <laughs> Public reaction, divided loyalties. When King Charles made his decision, people around the world reacted. Opinions were very divided. Support for Harry and Meghan. Harry and Meghan have many fans, mainly in the US. They support causes like mental health and social justice. Many think King Charles was too harsh. They believe the monarchy needs to change and Harry and Meghan are leading the way. Some also mention the media harassment Harry and Meghan have faced. They see King Charles' decision as a sign of old traditions, not a necessary step. Defenders of the monarchy. But some people support King Charles' decision. They think the royal family must uphold high standards. Harry's choice to leave royal duties meant he couldn't keep his title. These people see the monarchy as a symbol of tradition. They think Harry's actions were harmful. They believe King Charles made the right choice to protect the crown. <sighs> What's next for Prince Harry? Prince Harry is facing a big change. Losing his title is a big blow. But he has shown strength before. 
he might use this chance to grow as a public figure outside the monarchy. Harry's work in mental health and charity could help him stay influential, but losing his title might make it harder to keep his global appeal. There are also questions about Harry and Meghan's children, Archie and Lilibet. Without their father's title, their royal connection is now more symbolic. This raises questions about their future roles. The future of the British monarchy. The stripping of Prince Harry's title has big implications for him and the British monarchy. King Charles wants to make the monarchy modern and relevant. By taking action, he shows that the crown is more important than family ties. This move could change how people see the royal family. Some might think it's necessary to keep the monarchy strong. Others might see it as showing the institution is too rigid to change. <sighs> Conclusion A royal family divided. The drama around Prince Harry's royal status has grabbed the world's attention for years. This latest move starts a new chapter in the saga. Harry must come to terms with losing his Duke title, and the royal family faces new challenges. King Charles' decision might protect the monarchy, but it also shows deep family divisions. Whether this is the end or just the start of a new chapter, the world will watch closely. Prince Harry now faces a crossroads. His future is no longer defined by his birthright. He must create his own path and make choices for himself and his family. Harry's potential paths forward. Without his title, Prince Harry might face new challenges in his career and public life. His royal status opened doors and brought attention to his causes. But Harry has built a personal brand based on authenticity and charity work. This will likely continue to influence him. Further media ventures. One obvious path for Harry is to keep using the media. His Netflix deal and podcast work have been successful. Without royal constraints, he can tell more personal stories, possibly through documentaries or interviews. Harry's work on mental health issues suggests he'll keep using his platform. He might continue to speak openly about his struggles. This could help others and reduce stigma around mental health. Charitable work and advocacy. Harry's charity work will likely remain key to his public image. His efforts with veterans, mental health, and global development have earned him admiration. Even without a title, his passion for philanthropy will likely continue. The Arch Ewell Foundation, founded by Harry and Meghan, will play a big role in their future. It focuses on mental health, racial equality, and support for underserved communities. Without a title, Harry might find it easier to personalize the foundation's mission and expand its reach. A life away from the spotlight, Prince Harry and Meghan might choose to lead a more private life. They have talked about the pressures of constant media scrutiny. Without royal duties or titles, they might retreat further from public life. Choosing to step back might be Harry and Meghan's way to focus on their kids, Archie and Lilibet. They might also seek peace after years of being in the spotlight. They could still do charity work but with less media attention. They might want a quieter life, focusing on personal growth and family. This could be their goal after facing intense scrutiny for so long. The impact on the Sussex children, Archie and Lilibet. What does losing their father's title mean for Archie and Lilibet? The titles and royal status of their children have been a big issue. Meghan worried about Archie not having a title and the security it brings. Now, Archie and Lilibet might feel less connected to their royal roots. They are still King Charles III's grandchildren. But without their father's title, their royal future is unclear. This could be part of King Charles' plan to simplify the royal family. But living in the US, the title issue might not matter as much. Harry and Meghan want to raise their kids away from royal pressures. Even without official titles, their children will still carry their royal heritage. It will be a symbol of their family's history. <clears throat> the role of Meghan Markle in Harry's transition. Meghan Markle has been crucial in Prince Harry's journey after leaving the royal family. She has supported him through tough times and controversies. Together, they've built a life that reflects their values. Meghan's experience as an American actress has helped them navigate the media. Her understanding of public relations has been key in their transition. She has also brought her advocacy for justice to their mission. Even though Harry lost his title, Meghan will likely help him find a new path. Their partnership shows they can face challenges together. They will continue to evolve in public and private life. <laughs> The larger implications for the British monarchy. King Charles' decision to strip Harry of his title has big implications for the monarchy. It affects how the institution looks to the public and its internal workings. A slimmer royal family.